Yo, peace, good morning, what's going on? You know, it's your brother, coming to talk to you very, very briefly again. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking, and, um, and thinking about the babies, you know what I'm saying? The kids, and, um, why it's very, very hard for them to have positive relationships. You understand what I mean? And, and pretty much in mostly everything they're doing, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's very hard for them to maintain you know, positive relationships, specifically, I'm, I'm speaking specifically probably about the young brothers. You know, I'm sure it's the same way for sisters, but I'm speaking specifically about the young brothers. Yeah, you know I mean, because of, you know, the breakdown of the family structure and other things, at times we find it very, very hard to understand how to work a relationship because there are signs and symbols around us that we interpret as, 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 as children. You know what I'm saying? Not even understanding how we really interpreting these signs and symbols and how later on they will affect us in our adulthood, our inability to deal with people in a positive manner. You know what I'm saying? So when we look at the breakdown of relationships, we must ask ourselves when we're dealing with our kids, you know what I'm saying? We must ask ourselves, what are we doing wrong? Because... You know, I really understand that a lot of the things that our children do as being, being a father of four kids, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of the things that they do is learn behavior. They learn these behaviors. Their life is spent learning. You know what I'm saying? We are adults. You know what I mean? You know, so our actions is what our children pick up. And sometimes when you're not thinking your children aren't even paying attention is when they're paying attention the most. Because remember, I've always said there's more ways to get information into a person's organism besides them just literally sitting down watching you and paying attention. They can hear. You understand? They can hear what's going on and they can hear words and other things that they might buy into that sucks, sucks into them. But the thing is, is that sometimes also relationship building and relationship and relationship interaction is something that's taught. You have to learn how to have relationships through experiences. You understand what I'm saying? And when you have a broken situation, a lot of times a broken home, you know, a mother or a father not there being in one aspect, you know, one individual is being in the home or being raised by one parent. This does not negate that a child couldn't have positive relationships and positive communication with people. But we know and understand that it's a little harder because of the breakdown. You understand what I mean? And you have a lot of brothers who will tell you when they look at situations as they got older, yo, I didn't really know how to have relationships, man. Nobody taught me how. You know what I'm saying? And when I watched my moms have a relationship, it was, you know, she was going through different men or going through different situations. One minute, you know, I would see this person or I would see another person. I would hear cussing, screaming and blah, 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 thinking that this is the way that a relationship goes. Thinking that these are the things that a relationship is made up of. You understand which is conflict. Because this is what most of our children see. See, the thing is with parents is, is that sometimes when we have children, we have to learn how to step back and deal with ourselves as the mother or father. Because a lot of times we will negate our children because of the personal unfinished business that I had with the mother or vice versa with the father. You understand what I'm saying? So my kids will suffer because I don't like the mother. You see what I mean? The kids will suffer because I got unfinished business with the mother and I don't like who the mother's dating or who she's seeing, even though we're not together. You understand what I'm saying? This is why you must clean your closet out when you in the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to take new bag, old baggage, pardon me, into a new relationship because that person, you know what I'm saying, does not deserve to have old baggage put on them because you don't recognize that you haven't cleaned up a past situation. See, this is why we never jump into rebound relationships when one relationship is done. You never jump into another one because you haven't adequately finished or corrected or fixed that last situation. You understand what I'm saying? And these are the things that our children see too, which makes it difficult for them to have relationships because their idea is strictly conflict. So, when we're dealing with relationships and we're dealing with our children, we have to be a lot more better. We have to sit down and explain to them, first of all, by having a proper relationship with our own children so they can see what proper communication is and what proper relationship is. You understand? And then be able to transfer that information and that action into other positive relationships outside of the family structure. See what I'm saying? This is what one of the things that we're missing. You know, today you look and you see the children, kind of like it's like a prophecy. The children have become the oppressors and the parents have become the oppressed. Why? Because the parents are lacking at doing their job of teaching particular basics. And you know what I'm saying? Which is relationship and communication. When you have a broken relationship, you have a broken home. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody 
when something is broke, somebody tries to fix it. And a lot of times the kids try to fix it, but they try to fix it the wrong way because they have suffered through the hands of the, the adults in the home. And what I mean by that, they have suffered through the arguments. They have suffered through the, the, the phone calls and they have suffered through mom telling them how messed up dad is or how dad is telling them how messed up their moms is. They have suffered through all of these things, all, all of these things. They have been influenced by mother and father. They've been torn apart. There's a conflict. You want your children to choose you or your, or, or, or the father. That's wrong. You can't do those things. That's things that you don't put on your, on your children. Those things are, are, are very difficult and you don't break a child's understanding and a child's heart like that who loves both their parents. You don't make the child choose. See, this is another thing that 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 messes us up. This That's a broken aspect of a relationship where you're making your child choose. See, the parents should become get to a level where they become civil and recognize and understand that nothing about what they're doing is on their children. It's about them getting themselves together so they can be the best for their for their for their children at all times. So the children can learn how to properly communicate. Mother and father, girlfriend and boyfriend, whatever, must learn how to properly communicate when those children are around them because they are examples. Learn how to let someone speak. You listen. You know what I'm saying? Get the input, process it, and then you give your output. That's proper communication. It's a two-way street. You understand the screaming and heart, the screaming and hollering over each other, the bickering, the name calling. That is what our children are picking up, and this is what we see every day when they go to school, when they cussing teachers out, and, and you know, and things of that nature, when they cuss out other adults. You understand? This is what starts at home first. So we have to be more aware of what we're doing in the home and how we're doing it, and understand that re relationship building is taught by example. You understand what I mean? So we got to get better. And a lot of our brothers didn't know how to have relationships. But I'll tell you this. If you have a working relationship with your mother, if you love your mother, you understand in the women in your lives, you can have a relationship with someone else and be and it be a proper relationship. But you have to recognize and understand what relationship building is and how it works. You understand your first relationship you have was with your mother. That goes for Man and woman, your first relationship was with your parent, with your mother, your first teacher. You understand what I'm saying? Now, she must know that she's a teacher in order to continue to do what she, what she has done, which is to raise you. But sometimes, again, we go back to the situation where things are broken and we have to find unorthodox ways to fit an unorthodox condition. But on that note, again, let's continue just to think and understand that the actions that we portray, our children eat that up. So let's be better, y'all. Let's get better. Peace.